everybody. My name is Tina and I am super excited today because I am going to bring you the overview of the 2017 MIPS performance categories. Now, we all know about how my art is if you've been on my channel. It's not up to par, but you know what? I gotta, I'm working with limited resources because my stupid computer, which I cannot believe is taking so long to um, get fixed. Anyway, just follow my voice, listen to what I'm saying, because it's going to be very hard um, to read my handwriting, because it's very, um, it's, 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 it looks like this. Here it is. Can you see that? This is MIPS 2017 Performance Categories in a Nutshell. That's what this is. So the reason why I made it like, a pyramid was was first I was trying to buy off of the nutrition pyramid I thought that would be cutesy because you know we all talk about medicine but anyway so this is the pyramid so here are the four qualities I'm sorry categories one two three four and then the reason why I wanted to go into depth was these would be in each in each category you have to select measures and then bonus points. You have the opportunity for bonus points. And then how you're going to get your information to CMS is the reporting. And then the scoring. So that's why I made this. Now we're going to go into it. I just don't want to talk behind, you know, a screen. And I, I'll keep showing this. All right. So let's talk about quality. And again, this is 2017. Because it, 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 the, the, um, the thresholds go up, everything goes up in 2018. We're talking about 2017. Let's get you your MIPS money, your MIPS points in 2017. This will show you how to get your, MIP, your points. This is what's going to show you how to get your MIPS points, okay? All right, quality. That's the old PQRS. In 2017, you have to submit on 50% of your patients. You have to select six out of about 300 or so measures. So select six out of 300 or so measures. One needs to be outcome, one or if there's not an outcome, one high priority and a specialty set. You'll get three to 10 points for each measure depending on where the measure falls on this crazy <laughs> decile uh, scale. I'll get into that in another video. Um, this is an overview. So so you'll get th the lowest amount of points you can get is three. Excuse me. If you don't submit any points, you just get zero. Okay. So you select your, you select your, just like in PQRS, you select your measures, six. Then you can get bonus points. Your bonus points in quality are if you, e if you do EHR reporting, you... Um, or if you report additional outcomes, CMS is huge with patient satisfaction, patient outcomes. Again, we're trying to save money, you know, deliver quality care at a lower cost. That's this whole point of this whole entire value-based uh, system that we're now in. So if you can come up with, if you can submit additional patient experience measures or um, patient safety, you get two points, two extra points for that in quality. High par an, an, an additional high priority measure is one point. I'm very, very excited. I have a lot of energy. That's why I'm like stuttering and acting silly. Okay, so how you gonna get you how are you gonna get your quality measures to CMS? You can report claims, EHR, registry, the QCDR, or the web interface. So it'll be 50% of your patients on any of those methods to get to CMS. And if you're using the web interface, it'll be 240, I think I wrote 248 uh, patients. The scoring for quality. So the points are going to be converted from that 1 to 10, you know, scale. So take those points plus your bonus points equals, oh, sorry, equals, um, Equals however, however many points you, whatever you submitted, how many quality measures you submitted. Sorry, I keep touching. Um, and then you take those points and you divide them 
by the total possible points of the category. And that will equal your quality score. Again, I'm super sorry for the, <laughs> the way this is coming out. It just, it is what it is. It's the information. Okay. ACI. This is the old meaningful use. You have to attest on one on January 1st, 2017, just like, like meaningful use. Um, the exclusions would be the nurse practitioners, the, the physician assistants, the, um, the CN, the CRNAs and the CNAs. They can choose to opt out of this category for 2017. They are, um, this would be all reweighted if they choose. Um, so just like a meaningful use, you can, you submit your base four to five, um, what if I measures, um, I, a security, it's a security risk, the e-prescribing, um, the providing the patient access. Sorry. I'm just trying to get everybody. I want to put this down in a minute. Um, all right. So you got to do four or five base, four or five base, um, depending on whatever certification you have, you're using your EHR and then you can select eight other measures eight other measures to get additional points and then you get bonus points so five percent bonus points for um participating in a registry not not immunization not immunization um the registries are electronic electronic case reporting public health uh registry reporting uh there's two other ones if you participate in other registries, you get 5% more. 10% if you um, submit your improvement activities, which we're going to get to in a minute, through your CERT. You get 10 points for that. Just report yes or no. So basically, all right, so I'll get into it now. So basically, um, some of the improvement activities, like for example, one is patient access patient access to the medical record. So um, if you pick that activity, that that will that is an ACI um, measure, base measure, the providing patient access, the secure messaging, secure, uh, send a, a summary of care. That That's, if you do those things, if you pick that activity, that's what that means. Then you get 10%. I hope that's clear. I'm trying to go fast and slow at the same time. And then the scoring, you take your base, you have to get the base score. If you don't get those 50 points for the base score, you, you just get zero for ACI. So you absolutely have to meet the base score. Um, base, base score 50 points plus the performance score, which is up to 90 points, depending on what measures you pick, those eight additional measures, plus your bonus points. That will equal 100 or more points for your ACI. ACI, you can get up to 155 points um, in that category. But of course, um, I'm, not, I'm not getting into that. This is an overview. I will go into each individual performance category as, um, as time goes on. Okay, so the newest category is this improvement activities category. It's worth 15%. You have to do it for night. You have to do the... Um, you have to do the activity for 90 days. And if you are in a patient centered home model, you get full credit. And if you're in an ACO, you get a uh, partial credit. There is a study out. Um, CMS is looking for people to participate in a improvement activity study. I believe I blogged about it. Um, you get full credit and you'll get the support of CMS if you um, want to be in that study. So either go to macroconsulting.com and read my uh, blog. It's, it's at the end of December. Or go to cms.gov and you'll get more information on how to participate. There's requirements. There's about three requirements to participate in that study. And um, yeah, there'll be more information on that if you want full credit in this category. I mean, why not, right? I would. All right, so in this in this improvement activities, you have four activities to choose from if you're a large practice. I'm putting this down. You have four activities to choose from if you're a large practice. That's 15 or more. 
And if you're a small practice, you only have to submit two. So there's four activities. I'm sorry, you have to submit. There's 94 activities to there's 94 activities to participate in. Now, of course, they're all mixed in eight different subcategories. I'll read those quick. Expanded access, population management, care coordination, beneficiary engagement, patient safety, achieving health um, equal equality, emergency and preparedness, and behavioral and mental health. Those are the subcategories the 94 are mixed in. Now, if that wasn't confusing enough, each activity is weighted. So you'll have your high weighted and you'll have your medium weights. High weighted activities are worth 20 points. Medium activities are worth 10 points. There are only 14 high weighted activity activities in, um, out of the 94. So how do you get your activities to CMS? You can definitely attest through a good e um, EHR or you can um, do it through a, a QCDR, Qualified Registry, CMS Web Interface. Where am I? I'm over here. And then your scoring. You take your number of high, if you choose your high, plus the number of medium. You could do all medium, all high, one medium, two high. It all depends. So you take your numbers of high weighted, medium weighted, add them together. That will total your um, in improvement activities points divided by the total number of points for the category. If you are 15 or more practitioners, that is 40 points you need. And if you are a small practice, you need 20 points. And that equals your score. Cost. Nobody's talking about cost, but the word itself should be alarming to everybody. Okay, so cost means nothing in 2017, but I encourage each and every one of you to know which patients cost the most money. And the way you do that is you get your quality resource use report. You absolutely, positively have to get those reports. You have to get those reports. Um, CMS.gov. No, go to um, Q 